in this video I'm going to show you one uh, way of subtracting uh, it is by adding there are different ways of subtracting uh, but uh, when it comes to subtraction students do get confused and uh, do tend to do many mistakes so uh, this I've named it as subtracting by adding we're not going to subtract we're going to subtract but uh, we're going to subtract by adding so the question is 134 minus 57 so this question can be changed as addition like this uh, so we'll ask this question can be asked like suppose this is equal to uh, say let me say this is this is the answer so this implies uh, 57 plus what this is 134 minus 57 is what we want to find so this is what I'm naming this as what so the same question can be written as 57 plus what is 134 now you may wonder what how can I uh, how would you explain this so let me explain this in a different way uh, okay so if suppose let us take a small number say we know say 10 take away 4 is equal to 6 okay so which implies 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 or 10 plus 4 is equal to 6 suppose let us take uh, one more example say 11 minus uh, say 4 is equal to let me take a different number I keep repeating the numbers of 11 minus say 2 is 9 which implies 2 plus 9 you can say 2 plus 9 is equal to 11 or 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 so we are using this principle to find this so if you want to find 134 minus 57 which is an answer that same question can be changed as, as, as an addition question like 57 plus what is 134 so I'm going to draw a number line say this is a number line so our question changes to an addition question so our question is 57 plus what is 134 so let us start from say this is 57 and I want to go up to say 134 so I want to start at 57 I want to go up to 134 so the next station is 60 so the next station is say 100 somewhere yeah, it's not drawn to scale okay so I'm going to ask the question now uh, 57 plus what so the first this is called the first jump this is the second jump and third jump we reach the target so we answer the question let's answer this question 57 plus what gives me 60 okay well that's easy 57 plus 3 is 60 now 60 plus what is 100 this is a big jump so 60 plus 40 is 100 and from 100 you want to jump to 34 so 100 to 134 the jump is 34 so this is a jump of 3 this is a jump of 40 and this is a jump of 34 so I'll add these three numbers so you got 40 then you got 34 and then you got a 3 so let us add them up so this is 77 so the answer is 77 so let me write that properly so the answer is so the answer is 77 answer is 77 so you can check 57 57 plus 77 okay so you can, i'll do the algorithm method so 7 plus 7 is 14 this is remainder 1 1 plus 5 6 6 plus 7 is 13 okay so the answer is right so this answer is 50 134 minus 57 is 77 okay let us look at the next question 201 minus 76 is what we want to find and that will say what is the answer okay so we're changing this into a addition question so this implies this question can be changed as 76 
plus watt this is watt is equal to 201 so again let us do a draw a number line so we start at 76 and you want to finish at 201 so which is a tidy number so the nearest 10 of the tidy number is 80 okay then I will jump to 100 then we'll jump to 200 this is 200 and this is 201 so let us jump slowly the first jump is this is the first jump this is the second jump this is the third jump and this is a tiny jump so this is a jump of again no this is a jump of four not again this is a jump of 80 to 100 the jump of 20 this is a jump of 100 and this is a jump of one so you got to add these so this is 100 so let us start with the biggest 100 plus 20 plus 4 plus 1 so you have to line up the numbers according to the place value so this is a unit number so 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is 125 so the answer is 125 so let's check the answer always good to check whether we have got it right okay so here let us say 76 plus 125 so let us do this in a different way so this is 70 plus 6 and this can be written as 100 plus 20 plus 5 okay so this is 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 90 plus 100 okay so this can be written this is the same as 100 plus 90 plus 10 plus 1 okay so this is this is 100 this is 100 and this is 1 so this is 100 plus 100 plus 1 which is 201 so I'm just doing different ways of adding and subtracting so that you see what the numbers are so this is our answer is 201 so our answer is right okay now the final question is a huge question 75,000 minus 18,445 so let us change this into an addition question so the addition question is so this is what we want to find so if you want to change this in the addition question 18,425 plus what gives me 75,000 okay so the number line let's draw the number line this is a huge number line so we'll start at 18,000 let me change color so this is 18,425 25 and we want to go up to 75,000 so first we'll go to the next nearest tidy number so we'll jump to 18,500 18,500 so this is so then we'll jump to say 19,000 this is 19,000 then we can jump to you can jump different jumps so this is so i'll jump to 20000 okay then i'll jump to 70000 and then to 75000 so the, this is the first jump okay so let me change color so this is the first jump this is the second jump i want you to think how big is each jump so this is it's not drawn to scale so yeah the first jump the first jump is from 18,425 to 18,500. So 18,425 and what gives you? So ignore the 18,425 to 500. So that is 425 plus what gives you 500. So well that is 75. This is a jump of 75. Now this is a jump of 500 okay 
from this is a jump off 1000 this is a jump off from 20,000 to 70,000 is a jump off 20,000 oh sorry <laughs> jump off jump off from 20 to 70 is a jump of 50,000 50,000 and this is a jump of 5,000 so let us add the number so you let us start with the 50,000 so this is a jump of 50,000 then the next number is 5,000 so let us line that up then you got a jump of 1,000 then you got a jump of 500 and then you got a jump of 75 so let them let us add them up so this is 5 7 5 comma this is 6 so it is 56,575 so the answer is 56,575